So I just drove in. I'm on the Davidian Branch compound. If you remember back in 93, there was a major massacre. 80 people were killed and four FBI agents doing the Waco thing, that Waco church, the cult or whatever they were. Well, I'm here. And these are the monument in place to all those who were killed. It was 80 people plus four FBI agents. Uh, those are the name and the age of each one. A lot of young people, 18, 8, 6, 2 years old, 30, 25. Wow, it's crazy. This place is about a good uh, 20 minute drive from Waco itself. So it's kind of like out of the way for you to get here. But you can see why they were kind of off the grid the way this place is set up so there's people still living here today parts of it is still in use there's one of the house right here there's another one over there over there so i'm going to drive around so you can get a better view all right So we can uh, explore this place here. I don't know if anybody's living here or not, but this is still a part of the church or uh, whatever it was, whatever it is. So we're gonna try to go into one of those shops over here and uh, see what's going on in there. So I'll be back. So right now, where I'm standing at right here, that building behind me is actually where the massacre took place. It's actually where the fire and everyone died. I'm at the Davidian Branch compound in Waco, Texas. And so that church, that building right here was built after. I'm gonna take you inside and I'm gonna take you around. So watch. So that is the new building. They still have church here. So there was more than one church and uh, they divided after they divided. There's a lot of cover up here. This one. Black. So that's inside. You can still see remnants of the building. You can still see they didn't move everything. That was the pool that was unfinished at the time of the fire. So they were building this pool at the time of the fire. And uh, you can see the pool is still unfinished. Uh, These are all what's left from the fire. I'm not sure what they were building over here, but this is also part of the building. So where I'm walking on is all part of the compound that was burned down. So this whole entire area right here, you can see the pool, the new building, this whole entire area was where the actual compound was. So what took place from the historian here, she's been a part of the church and lived here for the last 30 years. And so the church split and David started his own group 
they all live on the same compound it's the actual church is called Mount Carmel and so he took his group and they move over this part right here the property and they build their own church so their compound was this this whole entire area where we're looking at right here and so where this building stand is where the actually old building was part of it so this is the new building that was built 24 years ago as a memorial and they still have church here they still have church here so if you remember 80 people died man woman and children plus four ATF member that were killed it was about a two month standoff shooting fire and all that stuff so this is a big compound out in the middle of nowhere Waco you really have to like look for this place to find it so since I was driving through the area I figured why not come by and check it out but this is unbelievable this is crazy that think that in another year from now it'd be 24 25 years since this thing happened right here in America in Waco Texas so part of traveling you just never know where traveling is gonna take you until you get on the road and once you get on the road you just might end up here so like I said they still have church here You can still see just remnants of stuff from where they were building. A bunch of a memorial dedicated to the victims. February 28, 1993. crazy part about this whole thing it's just you know it started <sighs> over simple religion religion kill people religion is a killer relationship is totally different see the church split because he thought he he claimed he was the prophet he was God's son and he was the one that came to deliver them and so about a hundred people and it wasn't just white people black Hispanic it was all different kind of people came from all over England Australia all over the world those 80 people were from all over the world color of the skin had nothing to do with it it was the color of the heart because their heart were hearing things that they wanted to hear their hearts were hearing things that they wanted to believe and so it was very easy for them to be deceived but it's a sad thing when you look at the pictures of the faces of those who have been killed those who died here it's very sad but that's how it is life goes on anyway it's it's just crazy to think here to stay here and to see this even though it's 20 something years later it's just like the emotion is just so raw it's like wow man what were these people thinking what was going through their mind all these kids you know in this compound right here that died anyway it's time to get back on the road i gotta head back to dallas for the afternoon one more day and this trip is over so i gotta get on the road and uh have fun but there you have it.